Okay, you guys, I'm here with some Canadian treats that I received in a package, okay? So I'm here with some Canadian treats and I cannot wait anymore. I can't wait any longer to taste these. I have to taste these. I've been waiting for these and when Cindy told me that they were coming, I just got excited and I knew I wasn't going to be able to wait. So let's taste these right now. I just cannot wait. Okay. All right, let's see. Pick one out and then open it up. Okay, so here we are. It looks like that in the bag. I don't know if you can see. Okay, they almost look like barbecue chips, but they're a little bit more redder. Okay, I don't know if you can see. They're a little bit more redder. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's have a look. They look like that. Almost like barbecue chips. All right, here it goes. <laughs> anyway, these are going to take some time to get used to, but I have a feeling I'm going to get used to them. You definitely, definitely get that ketchup taste. That is the first thing you taste when you put it in your mouth, is right away that ketchup just hits you. Um, all right, I'm going to put another one in there. Here it is. Ugh. All right, so let me give you a toss up of what they're like almost. It's like mm, just that strong taste of ketchup. Blah. That strong taste of ketchup, but at the same time, it almost has that mix of tomato soup. So if you know what tomato soup tastes like, it it's almost like tomato soup. Now, I love tomato soup, but these, wow. I'm tasting mostly the ketchup. It's getting better. It's getting better. I think I can tolerate them now. At first, if you've never had these before, oh, look out. I got tears in my eyes. Ah, oh, so you get the ketchup taste right away. That is the first thing that hits you, is the ketchup taste. And then on the second one, you might get a little bit of that tomato soup like type taste. And I love tomato soup, but these are just a little bit different. And then on the third one, I had just that tomato. It, it, the tomato was getting better. You could just taste the tomato. Um, I'm not tasting as much as the potato as I am the tomato. Okay? Okay. That's a lot better. It's getting easier now. You definitely could taste that tomato ketchup, but it's like eating only the tomato ketchup by itself. Almost. Wow. Anyway, so that's what those are. The first you get the ketchup, and then on the second one, you get that tomato -y soup, and then on that third one, it gets a little bit more tolerable. It tastes like fresh ketchup, like fresh tomatoes. And on that fourth one, a little bit more tolerable. You're getting all that bunched in together. And it's just a mixture of tomato. Okay? So if you like tomatoes, I think you're going to like this. Um, if you like ketchup, 
I think you're going to like this. And I know I'm going to like them. I'm, I'm going to get comfortable with them. Um, they they're really good. I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna gel these because they are really good. I just gotta get used to them because I've never tasted them in this kind of. I never tasted a, something like this before, so I'm gonna get used to it. Only thing is, they need to get rid of the salt. Get rid of the salt. And that ketchup might be a little bit more tolerable. Hmm. Yeah. So, anyway, there you go. There's the tasting of the ketchup, of the ketchup chips. Yeah. I hope you've enjoyed that. And I think now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a drink of my soda. <laughs> And I am going to taste something else for you. And yes, I do. I drink from the jug because it's only me drinking it. Okay. So anyway, so the next thing up are these hickory string, like string, like thingies. And they're hickory and they are Julian's Al hickory. I've been wanting to try these, so let's go ahead and try them. All right, I'll be right back, folks. Okay, so let's try these. Let's open them up. And let's give these a try. Now, these in the United States we call shoestrings, but we have just the plain ones. We don't have the flavored ones like these. Like these. Mm, those smell good. Those really smell. Those smell good. Mm. All right, so let's go ahead. Here it is. Here's what they look like. Here's what they look like. They're kind of a red color on the inside. All right, so there they are. Okay, let's try one. Mmm. Okay, if you like, if you like that flavor of cedar or smoked, that smoked flavor, mmm, that is so good. That's got a really good smoke taste that that nice flavor of being on the grill so if you like hamburgers on the grill you'll love these mm. yeah if you like steaks and hamburgers on the grill you're gonna love these these are good mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, indeed, these are good. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm hmm. Just like having a hamburger or a steak on the grill. But even better. Oh, those are nice. I love these. I love these. Again, these are the hickory sticks. Oh, they are good. It says hickory sticks, love them for the crunch, love them for the munch, and love them for the taste. They're lightly, thin cut, lightly seasoned. I wouldn't say they're lightly seasoned. They're nicely seasoned. Mmm. Those are good. Oh my gosh, I really like these. Okay, thank you so much, Cindy. I really, 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 really like those. All right, let's put those in there. And let's go ahead and let's try this. Let's, let's get my palate kind of sweetened up now. And let's try these coffee crisps in which she sent me. Let's open up one. And let's see what these taste like.
Mmm, look at my lips, because those were just so good. Mmm. Okay, hang on a second. Okay, sorry. All right, so we're going to open up this. These are just little snack size bars. And let's, these are kind of hard, so I'm not going to be able to bite into them because of my mouth. But this is what they look like on the inside. Okay, they just look like a wafer almost. Let's put that in there. Um, well, I'm just going to say, if you like Kit Kat, I don't taste much coffee. Mm -mm. I don't taste much coffee, guys. I don't taste much coffee at all. But I'm going to say, if you like Kit Kats, you'll like these, okay? You'll like these. You like Kit Kat, you'll like these. Or if you like the recess wafer uh, candy, you'll like this. Okay, let's go on to the next one. I'm not going to spend too much time on one item. And let me just tell you what these taste like. These are really good. These are the Maynard Peach candies. And these are like, these are like sour to sweet. So here's the bag. Here's what they look like. Okay. Here's what they look like. Woo. Let me tell you. Pucker power. Wow. Pucker power. I love them. Once you get past the sour and past the pucker power, then it starts getting into that sweet. And it's really nice in there. And it does taste like a peach, folks. Tastes just like a peach. I'll be right back. Okay, I just kind of wanted to finish that up before I went to the next thing. Okay, so these now are the Maynard. And these are Swedish berries. So let's have a taste. Okay. So here's what they look like. Okay, here's what they look like. Mm-hmm. If you like Swedish fish, if you like the Swedish fish, you'll like these. Also, if you like those fruit snacks, like type things, you'll like these. They're just like it. Mmm, and you get a nice mixture of berries in there. Mmm. Almost like a raspberry flavor. Yeah, those are good. So there you go, Maynard Swedish uh, berries. So there you go, folks. There is the taste test 
of all my treats I got from Canada. I hope you have enjoyed this video and um, I thank you for watching and we'll talk to you again soon. And Happy New Year, everybody. Bye for now.